welcome to your first Mind Up lesson of the school year. My name is Joni and I'm a trainer for the Beach Cities Health District and I'll be guiding you through the first lesson which is all about our brains. But before we do that, I'd like to start off with a breathing exercise to calm our minds and our bodies and prepare for our lesson today. So first, just take a little wiggle, get comfortable in your seat wherever you're sitting and bring your feet to touch the ground plant them firmly on the earth if that's possible and then take your hands and place them right on tops of your thighs roll your shoulders up back and down and then you can close your eyes with me or you can simply just look straight down and first with our eyes closed or gazing down we'll just begin to notice our breath the inhale followed by the exhale and now together, we'll take a big deep breath in through our nose and then open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Great work, let's do that one more time together. Deep breath in, fill up, feel your chest rise and then open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> this time, we'll take a deep breath in through our nose and then hold it at the top. And now exhale, release. <sighs> Just take a few more rounds of breath on your own, at your own pace, inhaling and exhaling. Notice your body soften. And then slowly just begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing a little bit of movement back into your body. And now blink your eyes open or simply look up. And just notice how a short breathing exercise can help just focus and prepare your mind and body. So now that we're ready to dive into the lesson, we'll need a few materials and those will be listed on the next screen. After we gather those, we will begin. Here are the materials you need for today. The Brain Power Worksheet, a pen or a pencil, markers or colored pencils, and be sure to grab three different colors. Here's a picture of the Brain Power Worksheet we'll complete together. You'll probably notice some similarities between this picture of the brain and your worksheet. Both highlight the three key players of the brain. The prefrontal cortex is known as the wise leader. It's right behind your forehead, and it's the area of the brain that controls our decision-making and helps us focus our attention. Here's a picture of the prefrontal cortex at work. Students focused and learning. Next up is the amygdala, which is located deep behind your ears. We refer to the amygdala as the security guard because it protects us from threats such as stress and danger. When we're feeling happy and positive, the amygdala sends information to our prefrontal cortex, which helps us make good decisions and think clearly. When we're experiencing a big emotion, maybe a bit stressed, overwhelmed, or sad, the amygdala stops passing information along to the prefrontal cortex, which blocks our good decision-making skills. The good news is that we can learn ways to calm our mind and body, so our PFC is in charge again and can help us make good decisions. But before we learn any new strategies for calming our minds and bodies, we can't forget about the final key player of the brain, the hippocampus, which is located in about the same area as the amygdala, behind each ear. The hippocampus is similar to the technology cloud. It's responsible for storing our memories. Wow, that was a lot of information about the brain. Let's take a moment to review using your Brain Power Worksheet. As you can see, I've color-coded the prefrontal cortex, the hippocampus, and the amygdala. 
On the next slide, I'll zoom in so you can see exactly what I wrote describing each part of the brain to help you complete yours. Now that you've met the three key players of the brain, you might be wondering, why do I need to know about this anyway? Many professionals train their brains to improve their focus, ignore distractions, and visualize success. Athletes, like swimmers, are a great example. Doctors and nurses also work hard to keep their attention focused on the task at hand. During each Mind Up lesson, we'll learn ways to exercise our brains. The more we exercise it, the stronger, smarter, and more confident it becomes. Remember, you can always stop this video, rewind, and go back to any information that you may have missed during the lesson together. That's the real beauty of Virtual Mind Up. I hope that you enjoyed our time together today, and I look forward to our next lesson. See you then.